We have Luke, who is uh, also from the UK, so he says good evening. Um, um, cheers. Question cheers. about kilts. How do you stop the back of the kilt from dropping lower than the front at the top round the waist? <coughs> Mine keeps dropping uh, at the back a little. Right. Um, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm assuming that our, that our friend here, he has a problem with the kilt dropping in the back. And essentially that is because the weight of the kilt, if you're wearing an eight yard kilt, you have six yards of fabric in the back and two yards of fabric in the front. Right. So the weight leans towards the back a little bit. Um, and different guys have different problems with the kilt shifting back or shifting forward for some guys. If it's shifting to the back and dropping down in the back, it probably means you suffer from what we affectionately call noacetal disease, um, where your kilt, you know, you have no rear end to help hold the kilt up. In that instance, your, your, my suggestions are essentially twofold. Either one, you wear the kilt tighter, um, which will help it, you know, it's basically just by the, the force of it staying on by the buckles and straps cinched around your belly. Um, that would help it potentially stay up a little bit. Option B, which I hate to offer, but I'll say it anyway, because it'll work if you have a vest on, is wear a pair of suspenders or braces for those in the UK. Um, it helps kind of, you know, keep it up. But I don't, I don't love the look of braces or suspenders with a kilt. Um, which is why I suggest wearing a vest or something yeah, like that. Vest or that sweater, or, cover or, it up. Yeah, sweater, vest, waistcoat. Yeah. Um, for you know, covering it up while you're wearing it. Mm. We Jimmy. have a yeah, we have a few people who do that. Um, because mm. of various um body shape issues, and occasionally we have uh, it's it's gentlemen who are older and they've lost some weight in the process of growing growing older. Um, and so the kill to fit them just fine isn't fitting as well, so it's safer to have the the braces on, but. Yeah, you can't do that without a layer over the top. Um, do you think it might have anything to do with the fitting of the kilt? I don't know where he acquired the kilt. Is a is this a matter of the precision of the waist measurement at all? Potentially. Okay. Um, I didn't even think to go that direction. But yeah, if you have a hip measurement, uh, which is around the widest part of your rear end, um, if it's a secondhand kilt or the hip measurement is just too big or you've lost weight and you've lost it in your rear end, um, or as you've aged, you know, you, 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 and you sit on your butt all day at work and your, your butt kind of flattens out a little bit, which actually does happen. Um, it could be a little bit of that. I don't think you're, you're too far off with that. So yeah, it, it could be that. Now, a lot of guys, um, have the opposite issue to this mm -hmm. where, especially if you have a, a, a little bit of a belly in the front and a little bit of a, a bubble butt or, you know, your butt sticks out in the rear, what ends up happening is your belly can forward. push down the front of the kilt and it goes up in the back. So like from side view, instead of being level around the side, you know, it's kind of, you know, up in the back and down in the front. And then it's, you end up with the opposite problem where the front of the kilt is down below the bottom of the knee. And then the back of the kilt is up a little bit on your hamstring in the back. Mm -hmm. So it's, yeah. And essentially they run into, you know, I, the, the advice isn't, too much different which is well it's a little bit different where it may be like where the kilt up a little bit higher up just above the roundest part of you but it's also where it's snug above the widest part of you so that it doesn't droop down in the front or droop down in the back which can feel weird um i was gonna say definitely check your measurements and make sure you are wearing the kilt at the navel above the navel where you're supposed to because that could be affecting how it's hanging on you also um, that might be just the, the easiest thing. There might be an easy solution. It may just be that you're not tightening it down enough. You need to crank it down a little bit more, especially if you have a soft, fat belly. Um, but uh, yeah, it's it, it, it could be a number of different factors, but I would make sure your measurements are good and you're wearing it at the proper height. Yeah. Just to see. I will, and if you're if you're doing all this and you're still having the issue, I would potentially suggest getting a five-yard kilt getting or a four-yard kilt, something mm -hmm. with a little mm -hmm. bit more balance to it. Um, if you think when you're, when you're wearing a kilt, when you're making a kilt, if it's eight yards, you have essentially one yard for the front apron, one yard for the, you know, the, the under apron and then the front apron, and then six yards across the back in a five yarder, you have same one yard, two yards, and then three yards across the back. So it's a little bit more balanced front and back. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's, it's, if it is the weight of the pleats in the back, hanging, you know, pulling it down a little bit, a little bit more balance front and back might help them with that. Yeah. Hope that helps. 
What's up, boys and girls? Do you have this problem? I certainly hope not. Let us know in the comments, what would your advice be for a gentleman who's got the no ass tall disease and whose kilts are slipping down in the back a little bit? If you don't want to see that happen to me, please give us a thumbs up. And if you don't give us a thumbs up, the kilt may go down even lower and nobody wants to see that, trust me. Oh God, no!